Hey, hey, Pony Pros. Hi, everybody. Hey, Hello. good morning, good morning, good morning. It's good fun morning. day, fun day, fun day. And I made it around a big hole there. You notice you that? Did. I didn't hit it this didn't time. I hit the big, big uh, pothole. A that, pothole. There's other cars in there that'll never come out. It's the pothole season. It is. All right, hey, welcome to the morning workout. Yes, good morning, Good everybody. to have you here. You're with the lovely Laura. And the Million Dollar Plumber, Richard Bainey. And we just got our workout on. Yay. At least I tried to get mine on. i be honest with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I felt a little. Hey, uh, I felt a little under. You know, good morning, yeah. Tyler. Tyler. Good to see you, Ty. Well, it's been. Uh, we had a, a, an eventful weekend. Yes. So I, you, you it got was, it. You got to work on it. That's yes. What I, that's how I was kind of thinking. Okay. I, I didn't. You know, I wasn't so think? hard on myself, but okay. I just wasn't in the group because I like ate everything this weekend. We did eat everything. I inside. ate and probably Nick drank Marcella, a little bit. Drank, you know. Hey, and I'll bet um, a couple, you might be wondering how I'm saying good morning. I have contacts in for the first time in my life. Baby, got contacts. Baby's got eyes. <laughs> baby can see. Baby can see. <laughs> I know, and I put them in um, and was talking to Richard, and I'm like, is that what you look like? Right. <laughs> it's like I can really see you for you the got, first time. you got to trim your ear here. You know? I did say that. Right. Right. Well, I love um, you too, baby. Well, right. well. <laughs> um, so. But I've always had perfect 40 40 vision, 40 40, 20, 20. 100 100 vision, whatever oh, it is. 20 20. <laughs> whatever. She's so perfect, she doesn't even care what it care. is. It was perfect vision until I hit the age of 45. 220, 221. Morning, big D. Whatever it takes. Um, whatever, yeah, 220, 221, whatever yeah. it takes. Um, had perfect vision until I hit 45 and then gone. Just awful and so is readers and now I, they don't make readers um, strong enough for my eyes anymore yeah. so it's time for the contact so but it's kind of nice I can see keep, so I guess keep, I guess I'm I can keep just my, watching hey good morning Mr. Good morning, Canada Keith. we're getting ready to talk about you all right well indirectly well indirectly. that's what we were we had we had good friends <laughs> in Indy this weekend that's right good friends mm -hmm. and, and also clients but mm -hmm. it was a friendly thing I mean right. we, we um it, we, we you know we talked about you know Business, life, love, life. and plumbing business. That's right. So the can't business came it. in. We can't help it. But we had a great experience. We did. Uh, just hanging out, being together. Mm -hmm. But last night, the last evening, Saturday evening, a were... great example, guys, for our plumbing business. Okay. I think this was just so cool. This happened. Okay. We were out and about and had a fun evening. Had a great dinner. Doing and, the town. And just hanging out. And then we just didn't, you know, no one having such a good time, you just don't want to. You don't want it to end. Yeah, you don't want it to end. Mm -hmm. So. Even though you feel old and tired. Right, we're feeling <laughs> it, but. And uh, and so Keith had the idea, let's one more pint, okay? So we did one. One more pint, and Keith actually meant to ask you, is that what you, in Canada, what you call a beer? Yeah. One well, more pint? Yeah, yeah, we know that, yeah. Well, it's no, kind no of I know, I know that in English England. Influence. But yeah. Canada, you know, in Australia, Canada, you know, really, it's a pint, kind of a thing. Yeah. Or we say one more, one more beer, another well, beer. Because we're Americans. Okay. You know, anyway, we kind of do the beer. Everyone else is like, actually named the, you know, like it's a pint. A pint. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, Sorry. But uh, so yeah, so we went and and of course in the and we were also we're staying in a nice hotel. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say what it is, but a nice ho hotel. This was not a red roof inn, okay? <laughs> a nice. fine hotel that had a bar area and all that. And we'd been there <laughs> earlier in the day, <laughs> where the, the the help was just kind of they weren't friendly. It wasn't. They I, hated it, us. Right, and we were. <laughs> It was like, what do we, we didn't do? do we, just, we just came here to enjoy your establishment. Don't hate Canadians. That's not good. Well, for even though they hate us, they could tell. You know, I was I was speaking the same way she, they were. And they said a though. That might make me well the Canadian, but no, <laughs> oh, they okay. treated me that way. Oh, I got you, I got you. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was talking redneck, just like they were talking redneck. <laughs> so there should have been a bond, you know. Okay. But but there wasn't. Okay. And it, this is a fine place. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's a fine place. Yes. And so okay. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, this is that they're closing up. Gives you kind of what time of night it is. They're closing up. Right. We were in we're our we hotel. Were it's at the end, the time. right? Yes. Okay. And and they just and and uh, as Keith, he said, "Well, I'm gonna go over and talk to him. See, we just have one pint." That's right, just one pint. Well, they they practically you know threw him out of the joint, <laughs> right? Okay, and just you know made it clear that no way, no you know. Way. Beat well, it. we we decided to go down right where it was nearby where we had dinner earlier. A place called Tony's. Okay, fine, nice. It's oh, great food, great service. And we walk in, you know, it's like, ah, oh, it's ah, oh, they're shutting down. Right. And uh, and walk over towards the bar, and um, and we say, just one drink, whatever one drink. Right. We just get one drink. And they kind of they're, they're just, sure. Come on in. Come we, on. Well, at first we walked in, they said, oh, folks, you know, we're closed. Right. We're like, oh, we were just hoping yeah. to get one drink. And they said, sure. It was sure. the manager, the general it was, manager. It was a GM, mm -hmm. okay. And, um, and he looked over, you know, and it was a 
barkeep and said, you know, hey, take care of these these folks here, mm -hmm. whatever. And so they got us seated, you know, we sat at a table, not at the bar, because they were cleaning up. Right. And I sat at a, a table in the bar area there. Mm -hmm. And the bartender himself came over and just was all, you know, this is the end of the night, long day. They, you, I'm you sure couldn't, they you couldn't, to go home. Right, you couldn't have told, you couldn't have, you know, you know thought that they'd had a bad day or right. whatever. Yeah, you can tell it was the end of the day. You would have thought that they just started their, their shift. Right. Um, Super friendly, totally friendly. Right. And when he made his drinks, he did, wasn't like shoving things around and kind right. of being, making it clear. He still that, gave the show of shaking I mean, the it was drinks. The whole show. And yeah, it was, right. It was very fun. And and came over and was talking, very talkative his and name was friendly. Jonathan building the rapport, mm -hmm. building rapport, making us feel like a relationship, maybe. Welcome, even. right? Mm -hmm. That it wasn't about the food or the drink or their job. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, it was about the experience. Experience. Good morning, Alex Martz. Okay. Good morning, Charlie Bees. Then the GM came out with a bottle <laughs> of two thousand dollar per bottle uh, bourbon. What was it called? I Pappies. Happy something right. Okay. Pappies. And said, "Here, we just want it's the end of the night. Here, we just want to give you share this with you." He said, "We always um, share a drink with the last customers of the day." Right. Right. And so he said, "I've got this bottle of wine." Bottle of wine, bottle bourbon. of bourbon, and we're all going to two thousand dollar bourbon. Two thousand dollars, not the cheap stuff. Right, not the, not you know. Right, not what? What's some cheap at, bourbon? I, yeah, I know. Um, I don't know. Well, you know, um, Jack, Walker? Jack, Jack, you know, bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Whiskey, you know, Jack Daniels, not not the Jack Daniels. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, not even the makers. You know. It was fine, right. fine bourbon. Okay. So he poured Continue. us, and he stood there and, and talked with us for a while, told us about the restaurant, and this is, what did, we were, it was 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Right. Super they're late shutting for down. us. Yeah, they closed at 11. Found out our friends, you know, Canada, found out, you know, um, we were locals, mm -hmm. and so he comes over, comes back, and he hands me his card with his personal cell number. Okay, I can't read that as well. Okay. Hold on. Nick. Nick says, I have. I look at this a lot now. Mm. I'm silently evaluating. Yes. <laughs> like, right. Yes, Nick. Okay. This is the guys when we say it ain't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to also do the business here. I know I'm kind of going on in our morning. I, it's, it's, it's so it's there. This is a great, a great service example, example right. of it ain't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. You think, guys, for you to truly be successful, there's a lot of competition. And if you're out there thinking, well, my customers won't pay this. It's not in our area. That's all lies. You got to get out of that. Thinking all I got to do is do the plumbing do the better plumbing. than the next guy. Right. It's not about that. Not if that, about if that's that. the one thing you want to learn to be successful, you don't need to know all this other numbers and all this other stuff and all. If you could just do that and take care of your customer well, and charge what you need to charge. Okay. All right. That's why with this, he didn't take off. These were ten dollar beers and stuff. Other mm -hmm. than the the drink he shared, and that was relational. That was, that was totally for relational. us to get us back in. Because we live in the area, knowing mm -hmm. that okay, we're here, we're we're whining and dining and mm -hmm. that. So let's get them back because there's competition. Okay, plenty of places Build the to relationship. eat downtown. Plenty, in Indianapolis. plenty of choices. Plenty of fun places. Okay, to eat. like there's plenty of plumbers, right? Mm -hmm. There's always a handyman that can do it for less. Uh, uh, right? Alex said they will. Oh gosh, I wish my contacts were better. What does it say? You can't read it. Can I can't. You? Sorry, well, Alex. I'm gonna be turning in front of this guy in front of the red light. All right, sorry. <laughs> okay, but it was just so great. He handed me his card with his uh -huh. personal cell and said, "If I can do, if if ever I can do anything for you, you need to get in. Whatever, you give me a call personally." Right. That that is um, above some, and beyond. That's that someone is... going after it. The bartender came over and mm -hmm. said, "Hey, they we don't make. If you guys ever want to, because we told him in passing that we like to sit at the bar when we visit places." Mm -hmm. And all right, so he picked up on that. Mm -hmm. Pick up when your customers are talking. It wasn't about just serving us drinks and stuff and getting us out of there, mm -hmm. getting the job done and moving on. Morning, Ron picked Blevins. up on picked up on what we were talking about, right. and then came back and said, "Hey, if you ever want, hey, you can make a reservation at the bar. You like sitting at the bar? You just tell them that Johnny said, Jonathan. Jonathan. Mm -hmm. um, Jonathan said. Jonathan said. Save a spot for us. Save us. Save us a couple spots at the bar. Right. And I'll have your spot here when you get here." Mm -hmm. Guys, that is how you run a plumbing That's business. It, guys. Okay, that is mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. right there, right. Yeah, and um, even as we're sitting there talking, we're like, oh, this is such a great example, great example right. of how to act, have a successful service business, any business where you're serving a, a customer. Right. Which I'm pretty sure every single business. Everything else had to be customer. there. I mean, it had to be fine. Mm -hmm. Had to be clean trucks, clothes, you know, uniform techs. Mm -hmm. I mean, all their guys were uniformed. All that was fine. 
Um, the food was good, so the work was done well. Right. All that's expected, guys. Mm -hmm. That's all to say, well, I'm the best plumber. We got the best plumbing. Who gives a shit? No one get. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. Um, you're I, gonna get bleeped off. I don't. Facebook. I'm gonna get these guys to understand that. <laughs> Stop with it. We're the best plumbers in the world. It don't matter. <laughs> of course, you're the best plumber in the world. Be the best plumber. That's it. That's expected. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like oh, I always use uh, the example, and I can't read what Charlie says. I always I'm thinking the example where uh, you know the seven foot guy dunks the ball, and he's all, "Whoa! Wow. Look at that! You're seven feet. You barely have to jump." Of course you're gonna dunk the ball. Right. Stop showboating. Right. So I mean, it does, doesn't matter, guys. So right. the whole plumbing thing, it ain't about plumbing. That is the thing. Mm -hmm. And so it was so cool to see it in a restaurants come and go. Oh, it, yeah. You ever know that restaurants fine, I mean come and go. Yep. And because there's competition. Mm -hmm. All right. We expect the food to be good. Yes. Okay. But it's that experience. It was a total and, experience. And, and we'll never forget that night. Right. And we'll never forget that. And night. that's a culture that you create. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I go off, I, I kind of go off the deep end, because that, that, guys, that is how you win. Right. Getting all caught up in these numbers and the percentages and what stock you have and where stuff's at. And I'm not saying that's not, I got dear friends, dear clients, dear, I mm -hmm. get it, guys. I, those are, those not, things are important. Those things are important. That's okay? not the important Focus thing. on Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. Make the experience so freaking good, okay, and memorable. Go out there. And, and don't look at, and, and it winds up not being a plumbing problem, but she, you know, she has a concern about her dog. Be, got tech, have your tech, have some, a vet that they can call and say, hey, let, let them, let them know, you know, hey, we got, I'm here with uh, one of our customers and they have an issue with your dog. Could you, can you see, can you see their dog today? Mm -hmm. And have it set up so you can give, that they'll give them a discount. Right. Okay. That. That you will own that customer, even though you didn't do plumbing, because it's not about plumbing. It's not about plumbing. Right. It's all about. I um, mean, you become the problem solver, right? Right. You become the problem solver for them. So when they do need plumbing in the future, they're going to call the person that solved their it problem. It solved their problem. You're part of the. Boom. You're part of the life. Their life. Their family. Right. So that was a cool experience. That was a very cool experience. And because it was right smack dab in our mm -hmm. face, and we had to. We went from a normal situation, how we were treated in that other place, is how normal. That's a normal right. plumber. Where they treat us that, like that's a around. normal plumbing company. That's a normal situation. Right. Okay. So don't be normal, people. Right. Guys, don't be normal. Alex yeah. Moore says, I have a customer that uh, brings, oh, I wish I could read, dog biscuits. Yes. Yes. Guys, you say, that's awesome that, that, that Alex takes dog biscuits too. Okay, my contacts are and, and, great. And you charge for those dog biscuits in your hourly, hourly rate, rate, guys. You don't want to say, well, we've got to go cheaper and cheaper. And gotta be, it isn't about that. They still charge this full price for everything. Mm -hmm. And at dinner, full price. Yeah, they did. Okay, what they charge, and it's more than at the, you know, whatever, you know, the Lone Star Steakhouse, right. you know, whatever. It's way more. Is it? What, we're, we've had these conversations on mm -hmm. Body Talk Live. Mm -hmm. You've ever, you know, is it really a thousand worth a thousand percent more? No, that's not what you're paying for. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's what your your cl customers are aren't paying for. Okay. That's oh, Jiffy Lube. Oh, see. Right. Okay, but Alex, that's good. You should have dog biscuits in your car. What is, um, I can't remember what this says. Hi. It? Craig, it says, I, I sent you a message, Richard oh. and Laura, and oh. thank you for all your um, inspiring videos. Oh, thank oh, well, you. Thank okay, you. Craig, we'll Hi. look, have to look and Hi. find that, and you're so welcome. It's Hi. our pleasure. Hey, we just, I hope this has been inspiring to you today. You guys starting out on this Monday mm -hmm. um, as, we're, as we're recording this live. Okay, coming at you with our morning workout mm -hmm. that it ain't about plumbing. Okay, right. and it's daily. It's, it matters every customer. Every we get wrapped up in. I hear guys talking about I need more calls. I want mm -hmm. more calls. First of all, you never have enough calls. You're thinking of it in a whole nother way, anyways. That one customer matters. They treated us that we were the one customer for the whole day, okay? and we were the. <laughs> And that place of, was packed earlier right. when we, we were there earlier for dinner. We were the packed. most important customer mm -hmm. for that whole day. At the end of their day, when they were tired and ready, mm -hmm. Saturday night, ready just to end the week, get mm -hmm. home. You know. So where do you think the million dollar plumber is going to take me yeah, for date night? We spend a lot of money every weekend on eating date out night. on date night. Now, now we can. Um, you know, we talk about having date night, and yes. it wasn't always a time. Morning, Doug. You know, it was a. If we were, a, there were times when it was Taco Bell date night. <laughs> okay, and we all have those seasons. And that's we all cool. Have them. By yeah. the way, always have date night. We're we're blessed now and fortunate mm -hmm. after putting Hi, all this together, a plumbing business that is self-sustaining and was profitable by charging what we need to charge. Right. Okay. 
we now have very nice day nights. So we spend, we, we drop a, a few C notes every day night. Day okay? night. So where do you think we're gonna drop C notes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Back at Tony's. And we'll probably Unless... wind up dropping more than what we normally drop because it's a relationship now. Right. You yeah, know? I don't feel like, you know, back when uh, the TV show Cheers was on, right? And you walk in. Right. Norm. Norm. Walked right. in Norm, right? right? It's like that. So, all right. right. So go serve your customer well today. Make it an experience. Make right. it an experience. Make it an experience. Um, tonight on Potty Talk Live, you're going to be talking about. Be well, we're going to say right. something else. Right. The pay else? Oh. that pays. Right. So by popular demand, people were wanting to hear about tech piece rate. So why, how, when? Who, what, when, where, and how? Piece rate. Piece okay. rate. Okay. So be there. Join us tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Okay. On Facebook and, or YouTube. And we'll go through it. Okay. okay. Bring your questions. Yes. Okay. Questions. If you join us live, it's time time we can answer some questions. Okay. And uh, we'll see you then. Okay. All right. If you're out there in the truck today, um, as always, be safe. So I'm like a champion. Bye, everybody.